that is basically just a scissor mechanism. Here's how it works. So essentially we're gonna attach this to our wrist and the boxing glove, which is attached to the end of it, will also go whoosh, like this. Whoosh. So the first thing we're gonna do for that is get rid of these boxing gloves and we're gonna actually build a super easy scissor mechanism. As you can see, we're just gonna make a crisscross pattern like so. We're actually not gonna have it just like this. We're gonna have two of them side by side so that'll be strong enough so we can put one here, one here, attach that to our fist. But that should work pretty good. Let's just see how long we can make this. Okay, finally, we have the first one, and it works like this. All right, now we need to attach this to a mechanism that I can hold on to. All right, guys, as you can tell, I haven't gotten far. I actually went backwards a little bit. <laughs> um, it is day two. What I actually did was put rubber bands around all of this. You can see I put them around these joints. You'll see what that does here in just a second. It's probably important for me to wear eye protection, but I can't seem to find mine. This thing compresses. This thing has power. Uh, <laughs> how do I demonstrate this thing's power? Maybe I hold it by this. Power. <laughs> I just have to figure out a way to connect it. I had this box built up. The box didn't work. Uh, the box didn't work, so essentially what I was doing is just building the strongest box ever. This thing is, this thing causes some serious stress on the entire mechanism and everything else, so. What do they say? We're making leaps and bounds. That's what they say. I think so. Okay. So emotionally drained by this. Everything I do just keeps breaking. Um, so this is the point when you're creating something where you decide to improvise instead of giving up. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to make it not spring loaded, but make it so that you can punch and it'll jut out like this and then you can come back and it'll retract. Uh, it'll still be just as cool, it just won't break the pieces because everything I'm doing here is literally breaking every time. So we're gonna do that instead. All I have to do now is cut all these rubber bands. Guys, it is time for today's super special shout out. Today's super special shout out is Brick Studio Animator. Thank you Brick Studio Animator for commenting down below super shout out squad or hashtag SSS. Guys, if you didn't know, if you comment SSS or hashtag super shout out squad down in the comment section, you have a chance of getting a shout out in the next video. So if you want one of those, comment down below hashtag SSS or super shout out squad. Let's get back to the build. All right guys, it is day three. And here is what I have. I've taken apart the entire thing. Rebuilt this, which is the which is the new spring system. What's nice about this is it's not flexible up and down, so the weight of the glove cannot bend this thing up and down. It can side to side a little bit, but up and down, this thing is pretty sturdy and this will hold the glove. I've also created a mount for the glove and now we just need to mount this to one end, mount the other end to our wrist, and as you can tell, this thing as you can tell, this thing goes like that, and it can go like that. So this thing is working really well. Uh, this mount is just this, essentially. And I actually had a really cool thought while I was designing this last night. What if we have a cable that's sort of like a rebound cable? So you can punch, and it will retract. That way it won't stay out. I'm not sure about that exactly, but I was thinking, hey, might work. So now what we have to do is we have to figure out a way to mount this to that. I'm thinking we add a few pieces on this. And then now, this thing can connect to these little blue parts in here, boom. In order to lock it all together, we're gonna do this cool thing that I like to call the two plate locking technique. Uh, no, I did not just make that up. Essentially, I'm gonna take this like this, just like that, you see how those line up? Now what we can do is something really simple, attach that. Or alternatively, we can attach something better, and I'm gonna go with two of these and connect those because it just seems easier. Okay, so I just need, I just need like a, a cord or something I can attach. So all the force will come back without me having to do that weird thing. Oh, I might happen to have just the thing. <laughs> Tie it around something like this or through the hole. 
making sure it doesn't fling off, hit us in the face. Probably want it to be about like that. Yay, five hours! Oh! Ho, ho. Boom! 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 Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Okay, so now we have the whole mechan the whole mechanism. So now we need to build the part that attaches to our wrist. It's essentially going to be a comfortable uh, little thing you can hold on to. So it needs to be about this big, but it will have wrist brace, kind of like a slingshot. Uh, and it'll be built out of Technic bricks, and then we'll cover it up and make it actually look good. But I'm super excited. That was the first successful test in five hours. <laughs> Okay, the next part in this process is actually making it look good. I don't know how to do this. My first thought is to plate the two sides and then figure out if I want to plate the top or not. But I'm going to plate the sides first using some big old plates. Well, I believe it's finished, so I'm going to stop the timer. Guys, this build took roughly seven hours and 54 minutes, almost a full eight hours. And I'm, I could not be happier with it. Like, look at this, this thing is awesome. This thing works super well. I'm super excited to test it out. Let's go over to our new set and test it out in slow motion and see if we can punch Jaden in the face. All right, so as you can see here, we have completed the rocket puncher thing. I have not come up with a name for it yet, but this thing is absolutely massive, and pieces are still coming off it. That's how massive it is, but this thing, it is big. That's the end of the sentence. I actually have something really cool. I brought someone to punch. So we have here Jaden. Jaden has been in a couple videos. He's pretty awesome. Uh, he's going to be punching me, so we can test the actual power, and I'm going to punch him because I just want to. Of course. After he punches me, there's no reason to test the power. But as you can see, this thing is absolutely wearable. And watch this. You ready? So I just want to show you guys how this works. Just like that. And yes, it is a little wiggly, but it's made of Lego. <laughs> and I just found out where the lens to the camera was. So that was crazy. We're going to shoot it in super slow-mo and then see if this thing is as cool as I think it is. Well, guys, that works super well. This thing is awesome, as you can tell. I mean, it punched Jaden a bunch of times, and it fits on your arm pretty good. It's a little flimsy like this, but we're just gonna use it like this, so we don't have that issue. Uh, thank you, Jaden, for being here. I appreciate you. So that's pretty cool. Let's head back to the studio. If you guys want to know what tragedy happened here, go check out this behind-the-scenes short. I think you'll really like it. Uh, it was messed up. <laughs> As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Riley, and I'll talk to you next Brick Science. See you then.